Remember these. It won't take long scrolling through Facebook to find a nostalgic post about the cost of Freddo's. We all remember back in the good old days when they cost just 10p. Now you've got to fork out a staggering 30 pence. 30p. 30p for a Freddo is overinflated. We tend to look at things like Freddo's or Space Raiders. Remember them, like the little triangle. Were they triangles or were they spaceships? Because that would make more sense. Remember Space Raiders, the spaceship shaped crisps. We tend to look at things like that and Freddo's as a barometer of where the economy is going and the value of money, which probably says a lot about the British way of thinking and sense of humour. But that's a mistake, and here's why. If you were to price a Freddo fairly, and by that I mean in line with inflation, the actual cost of one of these would be 16p, but instead it costs 30. That's a 200% increase since 2006. You don't need me to tell you that inflation isn't up 200% since 2006. If those numbers keep up, you're looking at a staggering 90 pence, just under a quid for a Freddo in 15 years. I just ain't right. In fact, if you're earning minimum wage of £3.60 in 1999, you could afford a tasty 36 Freddos for an hour's work. Today's minimum wage of £8.20 will only get you 27 Freddos. Granted, that's still more chocolate frogs than anyone really need consume, but it's just further proof that the rise is down to Cadbury's and not the economy. But we can be grateful that the frog's not fallen victim to shrinkflation. Yeah, I'm not making this up. Shrinkflation is the declining portion size we've been getting in things like M&Ms, Kit Kats, and bags of crisps. That's right, you're not going mad. There is a lot more empty space these days in your packets. And it also applies to a lot of other daily treats. Cinema tickets, magazine. Do people still buy magazines? Well, the ones that do buy magazines pay well above the rate of inflation these days. In fact, if you want to look at a true measure to the price of inflation, look at the Big Mac. In the last 15 years, the Big Mac has risen steadily with inflation and is the truest barometer you can look to, well, you know, outside the actual inflation rate. Which is further proof that leaving money in the bank ain't gonna work for you over the long term. Do you like how I brought that back? Make sense? Make sense.